I'd like to say good evening to everyone, and um, I'm getting ready to like be like maybe two inches shorter because I'm getting ready to get comfortable. <laughs> okay. Oh, and by the way, if you see some glitter on the floor, I, I'm an artist, so these shoes, I did those uh, about a year ago. Okay. First thing I wanted to talk about, because I want to get all the seven minutes and tell you everything I can tell you in seven minutes about me, is I want to, what, what I tell my 21-year-old self. At 21 years old, I was already a mother of two, two little girls in my own apartment, doing my own thing away from my mother's house, didn't have to do what she said anymore, I didn't have to wash the dishes until I felt like it and all of that. But the thing I wanted to tell my 21 self, 21 year old self was I, I really would like to have waited and went to school first and then had my children later. Um, after my 21 year old self, for three decades I had children, 70s, 80s, and 90s. By the way, I'm a mother of eight, seven girls and one boy. Uh, yeah. And so during that time, the reason why I say I would have liked to be educated first, because I had a 30-year lapse in school. I didn't go to school for 30 years. I took care of my children until they got grown, and I did artwork, and I worked in the community. I danced, I sang, I did poetry, ceramics, you name it. If it's art, it's me. So um, I guess you can see that, OK? But. Um, I did all those things, and I did enjoy them, but I do really wish I had gone to school first. And um, some might say, well, okay. But anyway, I'm going to skip right on to my death. I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time. Uh, I really have to say I fear death. And uh, the reason why I fear death is because I used to say, if I die, who will take care of my children? I always worried about my children. Who would take care of those? So it, all, it always frightened me to think of death. And all, I also used to think, OK, what would my mother feel like? I'm her only child. What would she feel like if I was gone? So I never really wanted to die. Um, and I said, if I did die, please don't let it be violent, a violent death. But if I did die, I would expect everybody to come and party to 70s music, bring my drummers, bring my dancers, bring my poets, singers, just bring everybody, have a good party, because that's the way I am. Uh, I, I like having fun. I like doing a lot of things. And Jerry said one thing. She said, service. Oh, service. Uh, what brings my life? This is going to bring me to what brings my life joy or what brings me joy. Come on, somebody give me that question. Meaning. What gives, yeah, what gives my life meaning? What gives my life joy? Well, I'm a service-oriented person. I love serving people. Two things, let's see, three things that gave, give me joy in my life is my children, having my children, teaching, and being taught. After wrestling with going back to school at 50 years old and finally getting to school and being in school, going to school on crutches for three months, on a cane for two more months, a bad knee, bad ankle, heart attack, and a stroke, I found out school really brought, brought joy to me and gave my life meaning. I mean, I loved learning. I loved going to school every day. I loved what the professors had to give. And I loved making them give me what they had because I paid for it. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I wasn't sitting in that classroom for free now, OK? So, you know, and then I love being in there and there being that old. Some of my professors I was older than. So, uh, and it was a lot of young people. So what I would do is I would encourage them. Did you do your homework today? You know we have homework. Where's your homework? There's one right there raising a hand. She knows it. 
So I was encouraging, I was there encouraging the young people to stay in school. I told them my story. I struggled, really struggled, because I was saying, oh my God, I've been out of school for 30 years, what will I know? What will I do? I mean, how can I keep up with these young minds, the computer and all that? But I want to let everybody know, I earned a 3.99. I earned being called summa cum laude, the only one in urban arts at the time, and maybe some more after me. But all these things bring my life joy. Now, the next thing that brings my life joy is teaching. I love teaching. Uh, let's see. Uh, dance. Ceramics, right now it is ceramics. My, the majority of my teaching is ceramics. And um, what I learned in teaching ceramics is I love the faces of my students when they do their first piece. And even if their first piece, if they're 50 and it looks like something that maybe a two-year-old could do or would do, just the joy on their face of seeing that they created something. And boy, when it comes out to kiln, it's even like, it's like sunshine. Like I say, oh, you need some glasses on. Your future's looking pretty bright here, you know? So I love that. And one thing I love about teaching is my students teach me. They always say, Miss Allah, you are a great teacher. Everybody tells me that. But I tell everybody the reason why I'm a great teacher because you all taught me how to teach. And that's how I know how to teach. I teach, uh, I, this year, I was fortunate enough to have two elders in my class, a 97-year-old and a 96-year-old. They were my oldest students. My youngest, maybe four. But um, I really love teaching. I also have one that's uh, deaf, and I have one that's blind. Now, ask me. Did I know how to do this? No, I didn't. I tell my blind student every time I see her, do you know that you have taught me all I know? Anything my class makes, she makes. It's, oh, that's, oh, mm. okay. I'm getting a little full here, but I'm all right. Okay, just uh, do me a favor and give me a little clap. So okay. Okay, how many minutes I got there? She said I have 30 seconds. So in 30 seconds, okay, everybody, I'm a very interactive person. So in 30 seconds, because you've been wonderful, the leaves are wonderful, I want to teach you what they call the Class A clap. So I know you all are good listeners. So just listen to me. And after that, I want you to give yourselves a Class A clap. So are you ready to listen? Okay, listen. Thank you.